What's going on YouTube? Q back here again with another video for you. Today's video is going to be some a little different, so I'm going to let you into my life just a little bit. So I'm going to tell you all why I became an automotive engineer and how I became an automotive engineer. What I do for work, I'm an automotive engineer, so background is electrical engineering, so I had to go to college for your degree. I got some of my masters, didn't finish. I took a few masters classes, but that didn't benefit me because staying with the same company they're not obligated to pay you more just because you got your degree then you're gonna have to leave the company to get compensated for that didn't want to do that been doing this for like over 10 years and I just started a new path a few months ago but most of my experience is validation but I'm about to get to all of that in just a moment here well, sit back buckle up story time make this brief cue the theme song and let's get into it up my dad was an electrician and I really didn't have guidance about schooling and what I wanted to do so I want to follow his footsteps I told I need to go to college so I went to college the thing that was closest to me the thing that was closest to an electrician was electrical engineering so that's what I decided to do it was either that or nursing I wasn't really interested in nursing but that's what my mom was and I, I had somewhat of an interest and there was a need for male nurses so those were my top two choices but from a childhood I was like into drawing like architecture and stuff like that but I kind of uh, got discouraged at a young age and didn't build upon that so that went down the drain cartoonists and stuff like that I used to like to draw cartoon characters make my own but ended up as an electrical engineer when I first went to college not a lot of people in my family had gone to college it's just a couple of us honestly that uh, went to a four-year university and yeah I needed the guidance I wish I would have had a mentor at the time to kind of guide me in the path that I should have gone or wanted to go this is still a great path for me and I enjoy what I do but I don't know if it's the perfect match for me but it works well for what I do uh, I actually like what I'm doing so that's great for me I could have been an electrician like I do have that skill as well I probably should have pursued that more but here we are college got the degree so at a young age I knew I liked cars always been into cars I built model cars when I was a little boy with the kids some of them I could play with the more advanced ones you couldn't roll around on the floor but and I'm here in Michigan so we're part of the big three GM4 Chrysler that's the big three and now we got a lot of automotive companies here we got Nissan we got Toyota here Volkswagen Mercedes a lot of the big players are here so being here in Michigan that kind of like solidified what I was going to be doing automotive so my dad, he actually worked at a plant where he was an electrician for the plant. And he was also an entrepreneur doing electrical work on the side when he wasn't working. So I graduated college over a decade ago. And while I was in school, I had a co-op position at a scoreboard company. It's a huge scoreboard company that uh, you'll see all of their products at uh, all the major sporting venues. You see any LED board, that's the company I was working for at that time. Like while I was working that job, it didn't pay a lot of money to like have a degree. I was making like $12 an hour with a degree and that wasn't gonna pay my bills with the student loans that I had to pay back. So uh, I knew that wasn't for me because I wasn't comfortable with heights. I was always on ladders and just doing dangerous things. I got to see a lot of famous people because I was at sporting venues a lot. And uh, it was cool work, but I knew for sure I didn't want to do that for the long run. I was actually good at it, but I did not love it at all. Freezing cold, extreme heat, like getting attacked by bees and all kinds of other crap. Like going, watching swimming meets because they did like the, the swim kickboards and all that other crap. Like I didn't like being a part of all that stuff. Baseball, like it's cool that I got to go into the games for free. But I'm not a huge fan of watching baseball. It's better to watch in person than uh on tv but yeah i wasn't into that kind of thing so then like i said this was a co-op i did get offered a full-time position with this company after i got my degree but i chose to go another route so i graduated in 2008 and that was when the economy took a huge crap so it was real hard to find work so when i was in school i had did work as i was a uh, i worked in the computer lab at school so I was like building PCs and maintaining the computers in the computer lab so that kind of translated I, I worked at a help desk so I went from being hands-on with the computers to doing it over the phone 
and I did that for quite a few years. And um, so I had my degree making little money again. It's making like, what, $12 an hour doing that? Like that, engineers get paid way more than that. But I had to start somewhere. So I was getting all this experience in the wrong field. So I just did that, hated it. Had, it really helped with my communication skills. I needed some experience doing something and I had some loans to pay back. So I needed to have some kind of work. So I kept applying, kept applying. And I finally got my break into the engineering field. I was an engineer at the Detroit Water and Sewage Department. And that was cool, but it was very unorganized. I needed somebody to kind of help me know what I was learning. They would just have me driving papers off and dropping it off. And I knew that I didn't want to do that for a long time. And the part that they were going to place me in was the wastewater side. So it really smelled like crap there. It was, it was literally incinerators with orange dust of poop flying around the air. I did that for like six months. And then I got my first break into automotive engineering. So I was I did so many interviews, like trying, trying to get a job into the field, just trying to get my foot in the door. But it took a very long time for something to just shake loose. Got my first job at one of the big three and I was a, a validation engineer which I did for like 10 years yeah I was doing like SMS packages and I did security work and I got into cyber security so I got started getting real good experience and then once the economy started picking up like I was able to like I started hopping around because I still wasn't like I got the experience but the pay was slowly rising up so I had to move jobs to get my pay up so I worked for a couple of the big three automakers. I can't even mention one. So I had like three different roles in automotive engineering, a quality engineer, that's what I'm doing now. I was a validation engineer, which is basically a test engineer. Like I, I was in the world of infotainment and uh, like software updates, over the air updates and things of that nature to make sure it's all good. And I also was a resident engineer with amplifiers and speakers. So that was making sure like the the audio is calibrated to the right zones or decibels and things of that nature. I have a great time doing this kind of stuff because working for these OEMs, I get to see like the prototype vehicles. I get to drive them. Like I've driven all kinds of vehicles and this stuff is fun for me being an automotive enthusiast because I get to drive on test tracks. I get to test cars at their limits to a certain speed before I need to like get a higher tier to get to the top, top speeds. I, um, I got to drive like a right hand drive manual transmission vehicle that was diesel and a station wagon like stuff we never would probably never ever ever get here or have ever seen a thing like that i got to drive like some of the prototypes the uh one of the cars that has been on the channel i drove that as a prototype yeah, and it's kind of cool seeing like the things that i fixed that will go down to a customer the things that i prevented or um, and just uh, got the software changed to where customers don't see that. That's why I'm so adamant about Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Cause it's not hard to spot those things. Like you just playing around when you do like exploratory testing, you just basically playing around doing what a customer would do. Log your steps on what you did to repeat it. And then you document it, get the logs. And we have, you look at it with the software developers, depending on where you are. Cause some companies will give you the access to change it or other ones will you just pinpoint a time stamp of where the problem occurred i don't have to travel a lot one job i did and i quit that because i it was like no notice and you got to travel but it's fun man it's not what i thought it would be i thought i would have way more power than what i do but you got to deal with the politics of working for somebody else so there's levels to it like you don't really get to design stuff like my dream job, what I will want to do is competitive benchmarking. And thankfully that's kind of what I do with my YouTube channel. I just take cars and compare them to another. Like I love doing that stuff, but doing it for one of these companies, you can't get a crappy job doing it. Cause I know people that literally compare screws and like push pins and things like that. And that seems terrible. <laughs> Like taking apart a dashboard and just comparing that to another. Like I want to compare the whole car. And that's why I do this on my channel. That's something I'm not able to do at a job. So I just do it on YouTube because it's fun and interesting to me. So when you see me getting in and out of cars, that's literally what I'm doing. I'm just trying to stay on my own path. The thing that gets me going, like comparing cars. And, and shout out to the people that ask me questions. Like a lot of people ask me questions about school. Like I got a lot of opinions about going to school, but long story short, 
college is in the way. Like I try to help share how I got these cars. These, like I said, I drive people's dream cars. Haven't got mine yet. Still working on it, but it's it's more than one way to skin a cat. Like you don't have to go to college to be successful. But that has worked for me. I won't take it back for anything. And like student loans are just a, a whole story on their own. They're it's criminal on how much they charge the interest and how they do the interest. It's amortized interest rates. It's not simple. So it just piles up to where some people, they just can't pay it back. Another good perk of being in here, why I love being in here, I get discounts on mostly all of my cars. This Integra is like the only car that I didn't get an employee discount on. And that's only because Honda has, they terminated it. So I got friends working at pretty much most of the companies i know somebody working at to where i can get a discount for myself and my brother he works at honda so i should have been able to get one but honda suspended that due to the current situation of the economy with all these markups and things of that nature you don't have to go to college like i if i honestly were to like hone on being an electrician i could have made way more money like as an engineer my salary is still capped i can't I can't make more than my manager like it's, it's hierarchies to this and I can't just boom if I discover something like they're not going to double my salary because I did something great like no that's just good for the company but being an electrician you can like maneuver around that like you can hire more people to work for you you can consult people like I like that path because you can do more with it but yeah that's a little bit of insight to me shout out to my dad he's the reason why I got into this field in the first place like and I, I wouldn't take it back for anything like I enjoy what I do I'm having fun and learning a whole lot because I just took a new role like a couple months ago I had a couple jobs in the past year and I'm like in this one what I'm doing now so I'm into quality now that's something what I tried to get into like five years ago but since I my experience got me stuck in validation and I was good at it and I like doing validation but I just wanted to change I just wanted something different so when you do something for 10 years like I need to get my skills up in another area so quality like I'm big on that that's all I got for this video guys so if you got any questions let me know hit me up on Instagram I'm active on there and I appreciate the people that have asked me questions for the guidance that I have because I do have the experience and I want to help you all out from what I know so I can just get out to you because I made some mistakes, so you don't have to make those mistakes too. So just come to me, man. I can be like a, a mentor for you if you got questions on college or engineering at all. So with that being said, I'm Q checking out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. Take a look around the channel, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.